that's what I thought, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> But yeah, what's happening in my hero though? It's popping. Like, um, the last thing I still re- I'm sorry, sorry. I'm still behind. Like the last thing I peeped was still like the heart shit. With um Bakugan's oh, heart blowing yeah, up. Yeah, and then was... um yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm I I, I, I you know what? I can't no, this weekend no, this 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 actually this weekend's not a bad weekend. This is, you know what I wanna do? Because hmm? I did catch up to JJK actually. But like oh, not did. really. Like I fake did. Like I just read it I just read it from the chapter where <laughs> Sakuna took the man's body. I didn't read around. I missed like a, <laughs> I just I missed like I want to say four to six chapters in between. I just thought I was like I don't I don't care that much. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this because I I have been waiting for him to like make his move on that man's body. Like what's like I like because Alan was the one who pointed out to me that I'm the one that called this um way before way before. I'm like is it called void scans? Let me try void scans. This looks more like alpha scans, actually. The red, it's not like cosmic scans. So maybe this one's. Let me let me let me, let me figure this and peep that because. Who knows when Line of Web Two is gonna finally get their shit out? You know. Yeah. Who knows? They're not, a, they're not a serious. They're not a serious people. They're not a serious nation. They're unserious as all hell. So. We just gotta see. But yeah, sorry. Before I before I go into JJK, tell me about my hair. What's popping? I saw I saw the I saw him going crazy with some gears at one point, and people like, and, and I saw some memes like better than any gear Luffy had to use. I just laughed. I don't care. I retweeted it, but I had no idea. I had no context. But I retweeted it to piss off One Piece fans because I hate them. <laughs> oh, Deku, Deku's final um final ability was a uh, gear shift, and basically like it could change like the inertia essentially, like shift the gears. Like I don't know how to explain them. It's like any object, it can move almost like it's like any object you move, like it, it like it changes the speed of it, essentially. So like it, like it, like like when he was punching, he was like, "Yo, gear shift one, like you know, in the speed one, like two and three, four or five, six, like well, you know, shit like that." But like it was so advanced, you know, like it was like warping like reality a little bit. You warping reality, you said. Yeah, Dan, and that's what they said in the thing. Does that piss anyone off? It's a fan base. You know that you know our fan base is fucking stink. Yeah, yeah, they fucking they fucking awful. But yeah, like yeah, I had to look at the description to make sure I was playing it properly. Is is yeah, it was uh, allows you to change the speed at which they accelerate through space, yeah. And and it's it's capable of changing the speeds while ignoring the laws of inertia. I don't even know what that means. Laws of inertia? Yeah, like, you know how, like, things have to gradually, I think it's, like, gra- gradually pick up pace. Mm-hmm. Like, if someone was going at, like, you know, it has to accelerate, like, okay. consistently. You can't jump from, like, 65 to 95, so to speak, I think. Because, so, so, you know. He, so, so he can go straight into his top gear or top speed. Yeah. So, okay. So, like, that. So like, a, like an object can, like, just warp past it. That's why it's, like, it not, ignore, it's, like, warping reality because it's not following the laws it should be following. But uh, yeah, but that was actually it looked like he was working him in that scene that I saw with the gears, though. He was working him like Shiggy. Yeah, yeah, because see, the work was see, I already peeped this before. What the work was is that this was just off, off one was still in control of Shigaraki's body at the time. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, Deku was supposed to like you know get his lick back off for one. Basically, that sequence was even Shigaraki. So what happened was Shigaraki was just, so basically that was just everybody beating off of one's ass because he was the one to control the body at that point, and Shigaraki was nowhere to be found. But turns out, like I already knew, Shigaraki was like cooking the whole time. He was just waiting for Off One to fumble and scramble up because he didn't respect it anymore. And then he came back and took control of his body entirely. Like he literally shed his outer skin and like got his body back. But now Shigaraki's back and like oh, so it. so Off One has no more control over him. Like no, nah, he's done. Like he like, I love that. I love that for has, him. Yeah, Off One has a plan to like he has he gonna have Shigaraki absorb his. The real body's quirk factor, so he could get back in control again. But you know, once you telegraph for shit like that, obviously it's not going to work because he's not even the final villain. So mm-hmm. like, so Shigaraki already got control back of his body. He was waiting the whole time. He was like, he was That's like, good. I, I hit like my or- yeah. He was like, I hit my origin in my heart. That's why he kept seeing the the child version of him mm-hmm. ever since the start of Strike Fight. That, that whole time was like, I hit my origin deep inside. And he was like, you try to play me and this that. I seen all that shit. You just a fraud. Like you a fucking buffoon. He's like, this is my shit. He told Deku straight up, like, look, nigga, my only salvation is destroying everything. That's it. 
So fuck what you talking about. So he basically told the nigga straight up. So yeah, Deco, and now Deco and Shit Rocky are face to face about the fight, but that's you know we're cooking because that's a main event right there. Okay, yeah, I remember, I remember seeing discourse yeah. where like, oh, the child Shiggy is gonna come out and Deku's gonna save him and blah 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 yada yada. And I remember you were like, no, it's not happening. Like Shiggy yeah, but- has his own malice. That's his own. Not, it's, not, it's not that all for one didn't like foster it and make it whatever. But a lot of that malice was Shiggy's on his own. Like he has his own levels of hatred or despair or whatever or whatever yeah. case is. See, that's the yeah, I got packed up. You know, air quote, air packed up. When I had made that tweet, but a lot of people didn't even read my fucking. I mean, they read the first sentence, but they didn't read everything else. Like that was like literally after that. They did literally just read the first sentence. A lot. I, I expected more. Like the the my hero fandom in general. That's whatever. They're a bunch of dickheads. But my my mutuals. That's when I stopped fucking with niggas. I was like, oh y'all kind of stupid too. Because I was like, if you just read the second up, sentence Barry? that I had said, the mm-hmm. sec- second sentence I had said, they would have understood what I was actually saying. I was like, off one, you know, off one's grooming is irrelevant. All caps. Not to say that, you know, the groomer didn't, and I was like, not to say that groomer didn't play a part, but entirely, Sugar Rocky already had hatred and was angry. Off one, it got nothing to do with Sugar Rocky killing his whole family. He didn't plant that in his brain. Sugar Rocky yeah. did that, and then did it. Like, eventually, after I killed my sister and my mom, I knew what the fuck I was doing. And I was like, and it wasn't a tragedy. And like, he already admitted it himself. He did that in his own, his rage, his itch comes from himself. Off one, groomed his bad habits and desires, but. If it's like it's like this, if I tell you, if I you have a desire to go punch somebody in the face, right? That's your hatred, your anger on your own. But you can make, but you can instigate you, and be like, yo. Yeah, you can yeah, instigate yeah, yeah, and be like yeah, yeah. and be like, you know, this that, and other. But he's not, you know, I'm not like it's not like, you know, gaslighting is like make you believe something that's not like you're true. Like, no, you want to punch this nigga in the face. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you, I'm mean, I mean, like, you know, you want to punch this nigga in the face. That's your desire to, but me gaslighting you is helping you do it. But you already have that urge in your in yourself. Oh, yeah. So like, you finally made a stream. Out. You made you made the like after stream because I did a Tower God one just now where I actually had like almost forty people in here. I usually do like because because those streams I have to I unpublish because I put it on Patreon. But welcome to the stream, man. This is this is going to be more laid back and chill though. Probably would just be like an hour of us just talking about BS. But yeah, sorry, keep going. Yeah, but it's like like Nagant. She mm-hmm. didn't get him to kill people. She didn't really like had hatred in her heart, stuff like that. But you know, she was manipulated. She was also groomed too. But the difference is, she lived back in her origin and has like wavering feelings or has like these moments of what should I be doing this or should I not? Mm-hmm. She ain't never had no moment to be like, should I really be doing this? Or should I not? You know what I'm saying? Like, he just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do what I'll do. Like, maybe yeah. he was younger, yeah, but then he was still like developing. But now he like, I don't give a fuck, nigga, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, Everything is mid. I don't know. I just be na- I just be naming titles, Shane. Like I don't take my titles too seriously. But I am going to complain about some bullshit in a second. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just so yeah. So shit, Rocky back. They control. Thank God. Uh, we moving on. Off one trying to go go over there. Diving pulled up on Endeavor. So now they're they're moving off on their own battle for a second. Have their own solo fight. Mm-hmm. And hopefully, you know, Engie get out the paint and die. Hopefully. No, I don't. I'm I'm the time of it. It's time for him to go. Yeah, beyond like I. He had a sick. I I still like how he revealed himself, even though we already knew. I still like how they did that. That was good. Yeah. He fucking but yeah, that... undyed his hair and never like yo, what's up? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, then uh, mm-hmm. they use they, they use the clones right now. Big swarm of them, and they're going Normal through the race. Normal. No, the twice right, twice die right. Yeah. But then you know, Toga, Toga took twice his blood. She can use people's quirks that she loves. Or whatever. Oh, okay. So now they, so now she uses twice as quirk to like, you know, flood everywhere. Let me ask you, Ultra Cold Quirk in the villain arc, which you may not remember. She but did yeah, that, she used. I think actually, I think yeah, you're right. yeah. So she took that. twice as blood since you know he did or whatever, and they used it, you know, create an army of him. But she can't. She she recreate the clones like Shiraki, and you know, she can't exactly like you know make their use their quirks too. So, but but they they're kind of addressing that now. Like she's wondering why it doesn't work like that. So you know she's having her moment or whatever. But yeah, it's just a bunch of chaos right now. There's still some locations we ain't even covered yet. And they oh yeah, and they reviving Bakugo with Ed shot. I don't know that shit was ass. No, I, well that that I saw. I remember he. I, I, that's the last thing I read. He was gonna like use his hair to like stitch his heart together or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, probably, probably not. Not. Yeah. All right. Just read the, the TOG chapters. I'm irritated. Bam, should just pack them up quickly. Ready? I hate. Th- no, nah, I, 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 I like it. I think he should win easily, but 
uh, pretty easily. But I like that he's using him as a as a stepping stone as a as a thing. I wish you were there for the stream. You literally just missed it. You missed it by like like five minutes. Like I I only stop for five minutes because usually I do I do two streams on days where I have to talk about like quote unquote fast pass content. So you just missed it by like a couple a couple minutes. So just so you know, because I I feel like I I say this often and I type them in my um in the YouTube community now, but using that more often. I'm usually live Monday to Friday around 6.30 um, Eastern Standard Time, EST. Mondays are the days where I talk about the raw chat because that's when I live react to them. And then Tuesdays, I do the same thing, but I do it for Kubera, just to keep it in mind. But you, you literally missed it. Like, I had, like, 40 people in here, too. Like, it was way more lit. And we were having a great conversation. Yeah, you got to you gotta catch these live, man. I keep telling y'all, man, the Twitch streams are lit. This is going to be a more laid-back one. We talk about whatever. But, uh, yeah, sorry. Keep, keep going. Do your thing. No, that's what it is. You know, waiting for the tide to roll back into the villain's favor because the heroes are up right now. I, I don't have, like, much to say on JJK. Like I said earlier, like, I, I half-ass caught up. Like, I just started reading it, like, a chapter before. Uh, uh, Sukuna like took uh, Megumi's body or whatever. So it, it, it I just started reading it from there. Cause I'm like, all right, I don't, I don't think I care about any other shit. Cause I don't even, well, I the only hold like I don't even be like reading, reading, reading. Sometimes like I just be skimming. Like I don't care. Like I can't explain it. I know that's not true. I can't. People just don't accept it. I don't even think JJK is a bad series. Like I'm, I, I think I, I don't think I've ever really called it bad. Only thing I would say is I call it Jigaboo Kaising Juju Badudu on the beat. Like I'm just being silly. That's not a real criticism, right? But it doesn't move me. I'm not moved by it. I have no emotional attachment to the series. And I think, and the, and the weirdest thing about me has always been people get mad at me for not liking something as much as they do or the way they do. I'm like, what kind of shit is that? I'm not even, it's not even like I'm hating on it. Like, you know, like if, you, if you're like a Hunter fan, I get it. I probably bother you because Kogashi catches strays from me for no reason. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just throw a, I'll just, I'll just throw a stray at Togashi. In a random, in a random, a Dangerampa stream and Togashi's getting cooked. Why? I get that. For, for something like that, like, I'll be like, oh, like, that was cool. Like, I like Shibuya. I thought it was a pretty solid arc. Like, 8 out of 10. So, like, it's a fucking 10 classic, you stupid. Bro, I gave it an 8 and you're yelling at me? Are you good? Are you, are you unhinged? You're psychotic. I, I, I didn't give it a 2. I gave it an 8. 8 out of 10 and they're mad. Like, I, like, I slapped their mother. Are well, you guys, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so weird. Long be drifty of content. Like I hate you like how niggas be like overdoing shit. Yeah. Huh? Mm. Oh, I thought I, I thought I cut out, but yeah. Uh, you shit on my favorite series Naruto, and I still watch you religiously. Niggas need a life. Yeah, that's how I am. Like, but I, but like, I've always been that way. Like, you don't got to agree with what I like. It doesn't. Jake doesn't move me with the characters. I don't care about it, Itadori, anything else. My bro, Gojo, gone. I go fuck with no more. That's part of the problem too. Um, East would know this from my hero. My hero had this issue with me personally. Just like all the characters that I like ended up becoming like unimportant sideline or like dead. And I'm a character guy. People are lore people. Some people are plot people. Some people are world building people. World building and lore are the least important things to me in storytelling. I go characters. I go generally like plot slash subplots and then I go into whatever else. So if I don't have a character, like Boogie Woogie is dead. You know, like 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 not hit a character, but like Boogie Woogie season is over. He can't use it. he can't boogie and uh woogie then I switch. Hey, can't do that no more. He's gone. Gojo, he's gone. I think so far, personally, I think Mojito has been the best antagonist in JJK. I like Mojito personally. He's gone. Um Nanami, my self insert, he's gone. I got no reason to keep reading it because I never liked the trio. Megumi, Itadori, and uh, Nobara. Noburu? Nobara? What's her name? Uh, the girl. Nobara. Nobara? I hate all of them. They all stink. Okay. <laughs> don't like any of them. Maki? I don't know. I will never understand the Maki hype. I don't get it. She's not raw to me. She's not Toji. Toji gas. He died in the past too. I like Toji. Maki is not moving me, and her sister's a fucking bozo too. So I hate both of them. So I don't, I, I can't get behind the Maki thing. So I just stopped reading it. My last hope was Hakari. I'm like, if I like this nigga, I'll keep reading. And I'm like, his ability is cool to some degree. The gambling and the jackpot and being invisible with coarse, with with coarse curse energy to stay to be uh, immortal, pretty cool. But like, oh, it's not moving me. And like. 
I don't dislike Utah, but I don't know. Like, I just there's no character for me to attach myself to. I don't really like any of this shit. So, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I need I I like Maki, but our development didn't move me either. Told you to go. Yeah, I like Toji. Toji was moving me. Told you to, that that whole backstory with Gojo and the. And the something and the thing and I don't remember what's going on. Some some princess they have to kill seven stars. Some I don't know, but but it's when he said along amongst heaven and earth, I am the only one. Not that that's a JJK line exclusive. That's been in many manga Eastern stories, but yeah, that was that was that. I still have to watch JJK. I still didn't watch the movie. Did I watch the movie? Did I watch Jujutsu Kaisen Zero? I read the, I read the the, the the manga. I don't think I watched it because there's that one scene where Gojo's flying the African dude. I've never actually seen the movie though. Like, I'm so washed, bro. Uh, did, have you watched that last My Hero movie? What's it, whatever it's called? I don't know if it's called Two Heroes or whatever. What's it called? It was the World Hero Mission. Yeah, I watched it. Is it good? I didn't see that one yet. It cool. It cool. It's just passable. Like, it's fine. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Okay. It's cool. Okay. I have fun. Dragon Ball Heroes is good. I like, I like that shit. Hey, Superheroes? What, the, what, yeah, what was frustrating for me, it wasn't fucking Goku. Well, it wasn't just Goku and you know Vegeta. They were in there a little bit, but they weren't doing anything relevant to the plot. They were just like, I'm doing the thing. Whereas refreshing, Piccolo was actually the main character for like eighty percent of the film. He was like going around doing like some spy shit, spy not info, and like it was I, some good comedy. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to care, but I'm happy you guys had fun. <laughs> I, I was just, I was, I mean, one day I was looking for some, you know some gas meathead shit, you know. Turn my brain off. I don't want to think. I need a quick movie. I was like, you know what? I feel like boost my testosterone. Raw niggas fighting. Whatever story. You know what I'm saying? And I was generally surprised that I liked that shit that much. I was like, oh. It's actually a little bit more than just fighting here. And Piccolo is Piccolo doing some shit. I was like, okay. Took me on guard. Fuck it. We here. How how many times is, is Party Saint Germain going to freaking post the Mbappe thing, bro? Like, even I'm getting tired of it. Sorry. Uh, I, I I I don't know. I'll probably end up watching it at some point. But um, but yeah. Did I read the new Blue Lock chapter? I I act. It's funny you say that. I read it yesterday when my boy Alan came over because he's like, I just watched your Burrow video. Hey, wait, read, he's like, you read the new Blue Lock chapter? I said, oh, fucking this fucking asshole's here in the chapter, isn't he? So I read it like right then and there. So I did read it. Fuck Boro, he, he stinks. I still think he's fucking ass. And no one could tell me otherwise. That nigga's fucking trash. He's the worst player in Blue Log. I hope he fucking breaks his leg and tears the ACL, MCL, can't play no more. That gets kicked out. You fucking, fucking loser, idiot. I'm here to devour your leg. I fucking hate that guy so much. He's so fucking, he's such a waste of youth. I hate him. <laughs> but yeah, I have to, I have to watch, uh, read, um, apparently, I guess, I guess when, Ashito's older brother goes off to play some football. He has his own side story spinoff called Ao Ashi, like li- Little Foot, Brother Foot. I gotta, wa- I gotta read that. I don't know how long it is, but that that's the one thing I have to read. I didn't know there was a side story for Ao Ashi. I knew about the Nagi one for Blue Lock with Nagi and Rio, so that I didn't read. But I'll get on that. But um, yeah, JJK has actually been pre- like that, like the chapters that I read were pretty interesting though. With like, uh. Uh, Itadori and uh, Maki versus Sukuna and, Megu- and Megumi's body or whatever, but I just don't. I don't know. I don't really care. But we'll see what happens. But let me um, let me cook Wakanda forever, man. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me cook this fucking movie because I've been trying to tell people that like ever since the MCU started in twenty two thousand eight with Iron Man one, I didn't love. I didn't like every and love every movie. Like, you know, like, some people are like, MCU's the best, and then became MC versus DCEU, and yada, yada. You know, me, I've always been, like, normal. I just judge things for what it is. I don't care about tribes and being tribal or being a one in a spectrum. Like, is it good or is it bad? Like, I don't give a fuck about all the other shit y'all doing, right? So, know that I've always been harsh on the MC movies that I think are bad. I don't, I don't like any Thor movie. I think Thor is 0 for 4. So, this comes from somebody who's never been like, MCU's the best. Endgame was my endgame. I was done. After Endgame, I saw enough. I'm like, y'all did y'all, y'all did well enough. You created the cinematic interconnected universe with the comic book properties. Well done. I'm out of I'm out of five thousand because I didn't even like Endgame. I thought Endgame was fucking boring and long as shit. 
and I tuned, and I and I and I and I really tuned out, you know, like I really like I, I always tell a story where I I check my watch because I feel like I'm here for like what two hours and a half. I'm like it's been forty minutes. I was miserable <laughs> in that film. I liked Infinity War though. That's so crazy. the movies that I saw from like the newer phases, I don't know what phase we're on, four, five, six, don't give a fuck. I don't watch any of those TV shows, so don't ask me about the TV shows. It was not Daredevil or Jessica Jones or whatever. I didn't see it. Leave me alone. Um, it was I watched I watched um thing with my girl. I watched um Doctor Strange two and Spider Man coming home, no way home, back from homecoming at the hometown fair, or whatever the fuck. I can't. I I never remember which one's which. Is it No Way Home? Is that is that right? Is that right? No Way Home. So I know homecoming yeah. is the first one. Then it's like away from home. And then it's no, far from home. Far from home. And then it's like that's the one with Mysterio, right? Yeah, yeah. With Jake Gilling, Gillinghall or or whatever. Is that, is, that, is that the right guy or is it Ryan Gosling? Who, whoever whoever played it, I don't know. I don't. I'm, I don't know actors. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not cool. Yeah, it, I don't know it, 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 it's, it's Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. Okay. All right. So the one everybody wanted me to see so badly was Wakanda Forever. So I'm chilling with Shorty, and I'm like, she's like, oh, I didn't see it. I want to watch it, too. I'm like, you know what? This gives me a good reason to watch it, because if I don't like it, I'm just going to start canging mid-movie. <laughs> That's what I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to initiate the sex. But um, we ended up watching the whole thing, and I'm like, this movie's fucking ass. Why did you guys want me to watch this one? I even I thought Doctor Strange was better than this, and that was ass. The second one with America yeah, Chavez... Yeah. That shit, that movie was fucking garbage. But okay, so here, here, here's my issue, right? Start starting with like, I'm not a fil- I'm not, I, I I always say this. I'm not a movie buff. I'm not a cinema file. I'm not a cinema head. I'm not a film guy. So I don't catch bad acting. Now, my little sister had told me one thing she learned in drama class is if if somebody compliments you on your acting ability, you did a bad job, because they're comment they're comp because they're noticed that you're acting. If they just say, hey, your character was really dope or I just love the role that you played, that's like a, a actual compliment. Can't I, I never did drama like that, so I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe that's some staple they say there. Whoever the black girl who is who played Riri Williams, more power to her, nothing against her. I thought that it was obvious to me that she was acting and I don't pick up on these things. Now, I think there's a reason for this. To me, it seemed like the film was trying to contrast the stern, serious, direct nature of the Africans, if you will, the black ones, the Wakandans, in contrast to being American black. So she's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, to be young, black, and excellent, my nigga, you know what I'm talking about? Damn me up. I'm like, what? What? Like, she's insufferable. Oh, my God. Tone that down. The coonery's at a 10. Turn the coonery to an 8. Turn it to a 7. Why is the coonery cracked up the max? It was so... Uh, I couldn't stand her. And she's in that film for no reason. She's a plot device for making the vibranium detection machine. And it didn't have to be her who created it. That's, she She does nothing in the movie. She's not interested. She has no role to play here. Why the fuck is she in this film? And nobody likes Ironheart. She's not... She, no, she, nobody's moved by that. <laughs> like, it was so strange to me. I was like, what the fuck is this bitch doing here? She's annoying. Just get out the way. Now, that's like issue number one. I'll I'll cite the obvious one that we all know. CGI still is fucking abysmal. I heard that since Ant Man came out, they're they're like putting the CGI to cook more in the oven because like people are like really trying to complain about it. I don't know if that's right or wrong though. I have, I don't really care. But CGI is awful. Okay. Who plays Shuri? You know, you know her name, uh, the actor's name. Letitia, right? Am I am I right about that? I don't know. Whatever, whatever her name is. You know, you're, you're no disrespect to her. You're not a lead. You cannot lead a film yet. Maybe you can you can gather that expertise and charisma, but as of right now, she's not strong enough 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 to read the move to to lead a movie. To me, Angela Bassett was the one who led that movie. I think she's. I think the queen, like she's good enough to that. I think she was the lead in that film. It was Angela Bassett, in my opinion. And I think she did a good job. Now, I think she's gonna die, but she did a good job. And honestly, Nakia. 
La, mm. Lapita, Lapita, whatever her name is. She was, she was, those two are my like favorite in the film. Like they did a good job. I was very impressed with them. I like that. Um, so like credit where credit is due. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my two favorite scenes. Obviously, <laughs> they don't call him General <laughs> or King. What is it them? They call him Cool Cool Khan, the Feather Serpent God. <laughs> Shout out Baku. I like that scene. I actually thought the ancestral plane scene with Killmonger was very good. That was a very good scene. I think it made complete sense. Can't say I saw it coming, but it didn't shock me because Shuri was mad. She had lost basically everyone in her like like her like blood related family, at least she thought so, and she was filled with vengeance. Right? So when she goes to the ancestral plane, who is she the most aligned with? Is it the is it T'Challa? Is it T'Challa's father, T'Challa? No, it's Killmonger. And because he was, he was angry. And I'm like, this makes perfect sense to me. I like that. That was good. Now, personally, I think they should use him as the Black Panther in the meantime. What do you think about that? Michael B. Jordan? He's a good lead. He could lead yeah. the movie. Yeah. I think That's he should be the Black Panther. That's what people have said. I mean, I still ain't seen it myself. I don't really care to see it. Oh, but that's oh, what people. My, my, the whole time I thought you'd seen the movie. My bad. I'm, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spoiling shit. That's my fault, bro. I mean, I know nah, you don't care. I know, I know you don't care because I knew some shit about the movie too. But I just, I, I thought you saw it for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I probably because because y'all be making fun of me in chat talking. You know, he the film. He want to film shit. Bro. I really don't be watching what's popular like that unless it like, actually piques my interest. Like. Mm-hmm. John Wick may be popular, but it's not super duper like. But that's my favorite action movie franchise, like Spy shit. Like that's that's my shit. Like I only I seen everywhere all at once, like late. But Should that movie appealed to me. It was yeah, good though. Movie, I liked it. Yeah, it appealed to me in a different sense because it wasn't your typical like you know. Like it, it was it was something different. I'm it a multiverse special. merchant. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a lot. But me, I, mean, I don't really give a fuck about half of these Marvel, new Marvel movies. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. Of, I, I'm tired of being spoiled on the Ant Man nanotech shit. That's all I know about the damn movie is like the CGI trash. It's like, God damn. Mm-hmm. I should know the CGI that trash because y'all niggas talk about that shit every other, every other day on the TL. God damn, nigga. Yeah. So, like, when I brought this up at dinner, so I watched the UFC fight, right? Because I wanted to know if John Jones was really the GOAT. I don't know much about combat sports and UFC and wrestling and shit like that, obviously. Like, I'm not, I'm not well-versed, you know? I kind of just hang out with my friends. I go and eat chicken wings and I drink beer and I hang out, right? But John Jones, as much as I've been, like, watching it, because I like Stylebender, he's always, like, talking like he's the final boss in a video game. Like, who is this nigga? Like, is he nice? Like, he yeah, I'm fine. And he, and he beat that. He beat the French nigga in, like, two seconds. I'm like, I'm sorry. I apologize. He's, he might be the one. <laughs> <laughs> right? But then I I brought up that Killmonger should be, like, you know, whatever. They're like, bro, that makes no sense. He's dead. And I just laughed. I laughed for, like, three minutes. They're like, why is he laughing? And I'm like, bro. Are you guys, like, you guys are, we're like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like was that a serious point? They're like, yes. And I'm like, fam. Marvel and DC are not serious about death. Every I want you to think about any character of you like they've died before and come back. <laughs> what are we talking about? Bring fucking Tony it's, Stark back. And nigga, it's literally like Dragon Ball. Noah stays dead. Captain America died to Red Skull. He came back. Wolverine's been dead. He's been back and he's like kind of immortal. Like everyone dies and comes back. Superman killed by Doomsday comes back to nigga. No one stays dead in these fucking in, in fucking DC and Marvel. That was the little that was literally the worst argument you could make to me. That's why I was laughing so hard. I'm like, dog, you could do so many things. You don't even have to bring the same Killmonger. You could have literally just been like, oh, this is Killmonger from Earth 6185, tickle my bum. Like that'll work perfectly fine. You didn't have to. You didn't have to use the same kill blogger. I said that was not moving me, bro. Stop it. Anyways, well, yeah, that's why it was so funny to me. I saw the tweet. Uh, you would be going live like four hours ago, and you've been live for thirty minutes. What happened, lol? Oh, you. I did. I did. This is the second stream that I did. Can you guys like not see that? Like, isn't the? the I don't even think I. I, I unpublished the other video. I streamed I for an that. hour. An hour and ten minutes about the Tower of God chapters, and then I went offline for five minutes, and then I started talking again. Because because I because I private those, I unpublish and I I private those videos for the Patreon people. I usually do another stream a little bit just so there's something public for people to watch. Because then 
then I'd be basically Monday and th- Tuesday. You wouldn't have a stream if you missed me live because cu- I do the Kubera talk on Tuesdays. So, yeah. Go ahead, though. I thought you were saying something, East. Look, I mean, uh, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, no, I was just laughing, like, oh, yeah, about, like, nigga, like, come on now, that's like, literally, like, literally, bro, come on, like, death is not, they were just trying to bring back Iron Man, nigga. Yeah. In some there capacity, it don't, and, and it don't be, it don't need to be no capacity. And there it is. But, yeah, your previous point, I would find those films that we are still in the same universe to give me a different concept with the superheroes over plot, over play stuff, I feel it. I mean, Gun is still at least emotional and grounded. What do you mean, Mike? What do you mean? Wait, what's emotionally? What's, what's, wait. Gun is at least un and emotionally ground. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say. But, um, yeah, that movie, well, I don't think, I don't think that was a very good movie. But, like, here's the thing, though. Here's why, I, here's, but, but, but I have, I have a, I have an extra point that nobody wanted to listen to. I'm not mad at them for that movie. For that movie failing, I'm not mad because to me, it's, I think it's obvious that the sudden tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman completely changed the direction of how that movie was supposed to go. So I'm somewhat sympathetic in that, in that, in that regard. Like to me, like this, these are, apparently he was supposed to be a very integral, him and his son were supposed to be a very integral part moving forward into like phase four or five or whatever phase we're on. I'm like, okay. So you had to like remix a lot of things. But I was told he had a random ass kid. He doesn't have a random ass kid. He had a kid with Nakia. So that's probably why Nakia wasn't in Wakanda for a while and she was in Haiti. In Haiti. I like I like that. That was that worked for me. Um that's not my name or he's Talokan, whatever. Cool, cool, God, none, of, none of that shit was moving me. The niggas were never in the water. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> niggas said Imperius Rex for no reason. Just didn't particularly care for it. I don't know. It wasn't moving me. Thought the CGI was awful. The last, the last fight to me was kind of awful. And yeah, it's not a good film. I think it's like a four out of ten. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, I think it's like a four out of ten. So, damn. Yeah, it's fucking bad, bro. It's, it, it, it's, it's to me it's also disorganized and aimless so this like shit just be happening I'm like dog it's not done yet it's like it's like, it's like two hours and 40 minutes I'm like bro end this <laughs> also Marvel did go with one type of humor at least not MCU uh, not that several also main characters think yeah everyone's kind of just, they kind of joke the same for the most part like I would say everybody's this is the first of Iron Man Black Iron Man Magic Iron Man Iron Man Jr. Asgardian Iron Man but I was. If you guys don't know this, I've been rewatching the MCU stuff with one of my friends, and I've and I've and I've and I've re, like not regained, but I remember how how good a lot of the old movies are. Like, I think all the first a lot of the first films are really good. I like Thor one's the best Thor. I still think it's ass, but I think the Captain America is really good. I still think Iron Man one's one of the best origin origin um stories live action superhero films i have it with like batman begins and like um i'm actually gonna throw into the spider verse in there because i truly believe that this origin story from miles morales is better than the issue number one i think 2008 ultimate spider-man by brian michael bendis i think this is way better and it started with a multiverse story i couldn't believe how well they did that and i'm like his family dynamic and relationship with his father and his mother and his uncle are stronger here and are are better written. On top of the fact that they actually play into his like like more um Hispanic heritage a bit. He's not just black. He's like Hispanic too, you know? I like that. Because his name is Miles Morales. He's black and he's Hispanic. He's not just black. So they actually like they did a better job at it. So I'm this is why like like I know I'm not, I'm never excited for superhero movies anymore, but I really cannot wait to see across the Spider Verse. Like I'll be there. Like the date, like you know, early screenings. I'll be there. Like I'm so fucking. Yeah, when, when, I can't, when, when, I can't when wait. I I think June. I think yeah, June oh, yeah, of this yeah, year. I yeah, I did talk about that because I was like, that's my birthday month, and I think I was like, yeah. my, that's my birthday gift to myself. Yes. Yes, I'm so excited to see that shit, bro. I can't fucking wait. <laughs> you see, everything is not mid, but a lot of it is. So. So yeah, um. So let me complain. Let me complain very briefly about this. I don't even care. I'm just upset. I, the discourse, the discourse is annoying. So, 
Pat put it in the chat, the fucking TMNT. I watched 40 seconds. I'm like, this shit is ass. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Talk about all give to my little cousin. Shit's ass. Shit's fucking awful. Um, I think the animation style is interesting, though. I don't hate the animation style. If you made, if you made like a good movie with that, but like I'm hearing the dialogue, look at the designs. Uh, I think in the last TMNT they changed April Rose to being black. Don't like it. I think she looks fucking awful in that movie. She looks like a, like like a like a fat loser millennial. I hate how she looks. She looks fucking waste. The, I don't I don't I don't like it. And and I heard Seth Rogen is doing it. Y'all excited for a Seth Rogen movie? Get out. Go to jail. Go to fucking jail. Are you kidding me? How are you niggas excited for that dumbass shit, bro? There's no fucking way. Mind you, I'm not a Ninja Turtle nigga. I admit that. I don't, they don't move me like that, but I'll play the video games especially. I like the video games more than like anything else Ninja Turtle watch. But there's no way y'all saw that trailer and went, yo, Ninja Turtles. I'm like, no, you didn't. I don't believe you. Stop lying to me, bro. That shit looks fucking terrible. Oh, my God. Those jokes were not moving me. <laughs> that shit's not funny. Ass. Spider-Verse is one of the only ones that I was so invested to. I say. Thoughts on House of Dragon if you watched it? I liked it. I, I can't say like it. I think the first season of Game of Thrones was stronger in my opinion. But I actually didn't dislike House of Dragons. I don't know. I, do, I honestly don't perceive them continuing down this trajectory of it being good. But I like what I saw. I like um Allison. I like Renera. Is her name Renera? Renera? Renaya? Renaya? I think her name. I like her. I, I, I initially I liked Sir Christian Cole until he like went unhinged. Like, what the fuck is good with this guy? I hated him. Didn't like him. I I low key never liked the king, but I, but I like I like I, he when he got like old and decrepit and like dementia. I started to like him a bit more. I like that he wants like to have like one last final proper dinner with all of his family before he passed on and stuff. Thought it was pretty strong. I don't know how well it ties into Game of Thrones stuff. Cause it's supposed to be like a prequel. I'm not like a lore whore or whatever for all those things, but I I can't see I I I like I didn't enjoy my time. Mind you, I watched it with good company, but still, I had a good time watching it. So sometimes, like, I could look at something like it wasn't that good, but I had I kind of had a good time, and I, and I watched it with like like minded individuals. Like, I really can't if I want make anything kind of fun to me, but that's kind of my general general. I try to remember everything too. I do think I do I did think it moved a little fast because I liked some of the original actors that were like when they were like younger. Then we we did the time skips, but too much incest for me. I really am not an incest. I don't like incest. I don't I understand the time period stuff. Like incest really is off putting to me. It's very fucking weird. I've never really liked it. It's not wincest to me. You niggas are weird. Like I I don't like that shit. Um, stop inbreeding. But yeah, it was. But yeah, um, House of Dragons I thought was was pretty solid. I didn't I, I don't have any I don't have any heat with it like that. Game of Thrones, I, th- I thought it's got ass around the around the fifth or sixth season though, not even the last two. So, this man's capping. <laughs> you don't speak the truth. <laughs> you said you're late, but you're here. Welcome, welcome. It looks it looks okay. They can make Donnie less um, stereotypical nerdy. I, mean, I don't think it looks okay. I think it looks awful. That movie looks fucking shit. You said don't worry about me, eh? Don't worry about oh, you. Good, bro. You still reading that? You still reading that pirate manga? Say to see it. You, re- you 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 read the the latest um. TOG chapters and that, you seen you seen two two drop today. If you didn't see it, I I just dreamed about it not too long ago, but yeah, the last couple of years have been amazing for TV slash originals. I don't know if I agree with that, but I I don't think I consume enough to be able to make that assessment. But you guys know I'm an old man. I'm grumpy. I don't like anything new, so it's, it is what it is. I don't be watching new shit, so so yeah. Is even China mid? Now hold on. China, you guys, you guys are the best country in the world. I've been watching some. I've been watching some shit actually. Uh, have you CBL? Yes, CBL. But it's, uh, it's cousin for the for also K okay. more why? I don't know. It's a no. China's not mid right now. Like they like they are mid, but they're not putting out mid. <laughs> um, how you mean what? I you remember what I just said. I'm so fucking tired. I need a nap, dog. But um, so what what did I just do? I I roasted TMNT. What else would I need to cook? TMNT, Wakanda was trash. Yeah. Oh, Budokai 4 is not moving me. I don't care. It's too late. I don't care no more, bro. I, I Naya Hemings will never buy another Dragon Ball game again. I don't care. They think, they think, they think I'm kidding. Naruto or Dragon Ball game? I don't care how good it is. I'll never buy another one. It's never happening. 
I'm not buying that shit. I'm not excited to go back to play Ten- Budokai Tenkaichi 4 in 2023. I don't care. Make a new game. Make Fighter Z 2, Digamite, Boogaloo, whatever you got to do, bro. I don't care. I don't care about that shit. Could they believe they were in the chat? Go and get it hype. Like, y'all are not hype for this shit. There's no fucking way, bro. So. <laughs> also, Naya, I know you're a jaw guy. How do you feel about the news? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him. What else he did? He did something else? Nigga, nigga, nigga wants to go to the hood. Like you're not from the hood, bro. It's okay. We don't need, we don't care. Like we don't, you don't need to be a gangster. Niggas have his fucking little pee wee on IG live. I said, this nigga's unhinged. What's good? What are you doing, bro? What the fuck is wrong with him? No, I don't rate him for that. I don't rate that. He's not, he's not moving me right now. I'm very unmoved by drama and antics. What's the fucking movie? Where my where the nigga from the oh uh, he pulls out he pulls he goes in his bag and he pulls out the strap mid game. And they photoshopped his fucking face on there. I was dying. But I'm like, yeah, John Moran's being a fucking idiot. I don't, I don't, I don't respect it. I don't read it. It seems to me ever since the little Shannon, the Shannon thing, he's been like unhinged. Most of care. Like he's been unhinged. Like I don't get it. What's up with him? So they said Jaw, uh, Curry, Clay, and Dame. Best shooters in the league. You said John ja, ja Morant's the best. <laughs> I get it. You said, I, I, just, I just realized why you put the thing in there. John ja Morant. <laughs> I said, he can't shoot. I said, ah, ah, you almost got me with that. Yeah, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's going through some, some, some stuff, but yeah, he's gotta, he's gotta get his, he's gotta get his act together. Whoever wrote his public, his publicity statement, he did not write that shit. I've never heard that niggas string together an eloquent sentence like that in my life. It was something on the something along the lines of, I deeply, I am deeply troubled, and I'm deeply, um, I I apologize for the offense that I've caused, and I want to reflect upon my actions and get the help that I need in order to de-stress myself in these times where life gets too like pressure. I said, "Ear, yeah, write that shit." His publicist, his publicist, typed that out. Said, "Say this. Go home. Do not leave the house, and don't go on the fucking internet." <laughs> His PR team is just, his PR team is literally like, come on, dog. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, I was that nigga's publicist. I was be bagging back against the wall. Fuck this coon ass nigga. Why does he want to go to the hood? And I seen the Patrick Beverly. You know what Patrick Beverly's going crazy for making the goddamn play in or whatever it was? They're like, when John Morant loses NBA career and ends up in the hood and he's fucking celebrating, he's beating his chest. I'm like, I really hate you, niggas. Well, I hope he figures this up, though. But honestly, I can't see I care about the NBA. I don't care about the NBA right now. I really don't. If it's one year I have not cared about the NBA, it's this year. I don't know who's doing what. And especially when I heard that Kyrie went to Dallas and Katie's on the Suns, I'm like, I, I, I basketball must be might be the least interesting sport that I care about right now. But football right now? Club football? Hitting. I've been back since, 20, since the end of 2022. Two. I'll year it was. But yeah. But yeah, shout out to club football, man. Champions League. Uh, I I need Byron to go home, bro. PSG, please, please send Byron home on fucking the eighth. Yeah. Or second, or or lizards are gonna be tap dancing on my grave for the rest of the fucking year. Yeah, I, that down. I can't believe he's a Byron fan. I really don't like him. You gotta fight me. You said Byron tomorrow. Like, I mean, let's go. Bye. No, bro. I don't know, oh, bro. Byron and P. Not that PSG is any better. With the way that they just they just they just have the most money and dominate the f- Liga, the way that fucking Bayern just dominates Bundesliga. I don't like Bayern, and I, I am Bayern Munich's biggest hater. I need them in the fucking mud. This is why I need. See, this is why I need. This is why I needed um Ronaldo back in Real Madrid, bro. Bayern comes and it's clappers. <laughs> Yo, Mister Champions League Ronaldo. I need him. I need my goat back, bro. CR seven, bro. Champions League was his. Back to back to back. Put respect on his name. He's the nicest. Jesus Christ. The title of spin? Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. And Ronaldo was Ronaldo was specifically the boogeyman at one point for Atletico Madrid. He, he would like hat trick them all the time. That shit was funny. But yeah. I feel you. Basketball ain't moving me. I need your, your kids to win a chip and stop the disrespect he's getting. Are they disrespecting him still? I don't even watch. Like, I could honestly say I haven't watched basketball punditry since like 2020. Like Stephen A. Smith, Shannon. Wow, 
I used to know more niggas. Um, Skip, hold on. Skip Bayless, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, <laughs> like Joy Taylor, Malika Andrews, Nick Wright, Chris Collins, Fax, Fax Kellerman, Fax Kellerman, Black Kellerman, Blacks Kellerman, um, Jay Williams. One of my niggas from Mom, speak for yourself. Mar- Mar- Marcellus Wiley and a nigga who looks exactly like Jay. What's his name again? The nigga that show looks exactly like Jay. Oh my god, what's his name? Yeah, what's the other guy's name from Speak for Yourself who looks like J- JD Legend? You know what I'm talking about. It's Marcellus Wiley and the other guy. I don't remember his name right now. I'm looking up. I like those speak for you. Not Perkins. I hate that nigga. I'll, I want to I wanna fight Kendrick Perkins. Not him though, but not him, no. Um, he's annoying though. He's but but he's one of them too. Carry on, but I but I hate the two thousand. I hate the two thousand eight like Boston like champion team. Um, speak. For your self. That's a daily show by. No, it's not Colin Cowan and Jason Whitlock. They've been gone, man. Nigga, the fuck. Emmanuel Ocho, Ocho. That nigga looks just like Jay. <laughs> are you watching? Are you watching the stream? Me? Um, East. Me. Yeah. No, no, no. You put him up on the, the thing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put up. I'm saying I'm gonna put him up for a second. <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I don't think this pic, these pictures are doing justice, but it's okay. It's, it, it's close enough. Uh, I'm like, dog. Is it not Danny Legend? I need a LeBron stand. <laughs> said, "Ah, oh, shit." Yeah, this is this is what I was talking about. Nah, that dude, that <laughs> I feel like that I feel like yo, that's Jay, dog. Jay, Jay's on fucking um. But you know what? Don't niggas say I'm Marcel. I'm I'm um. I was uh Marcellus because I could be cool. I could be cool. I could be in my coonery mode, but I could turn it off and be like. <laughs> And be mad like eloquent in my speech. I'm like, all right, fair enough. I, I'll take that. I guess they said they said I'm a smart nigger. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're one of the smart blacks. That's what that's what they said to me. Oh, you're one of those blacks that read. I like those ones. But yeah. They said, oh, for real, for real. Yeah, he looks like him. Like I, every time I see him, I just think of Jay for some reason. There's someone else I I see that looks like him. I don't remember his name, but yeah. Um. I feel like I had a point, but yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't watch, I don't watch those guys talk anymore. I want to find some football people or channels or like talk shows that I would like. Barry, you, you, you any, any football channels that you like or watch? The only one that I kind of like is a days of, a days of daily football, but he just makes whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Like, isn't that, you never know what video you're going to get at what time. And I used to like to watch DW kickoff because they would like go to countries and speak to people in clubs and do some interesting things. I saw Jacko ask me if I was watching someone called HI some 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 sevens. My friend told me to watch him, but he's you you know me, um he's I hate long winded people. You know I like you know I like people who are concise. He takes like six minutes to start his video and he's only using stills. It's visually boring to me, so I didn't really, I don't really watch him. I can't watch that. I don't know. He t- I really he really took six minutes. To, like it's like 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 fuck Joy Boy, I don't rate him. The YouTuber, not the character in one piece, maybe he's raw, I don't know yet. I don't know, but the like actual YouTuber, I think he's a fucking bozo and a loser. He's the same way. That nigga takes well, a twenty minute video. I guess to the point, fifteen minutes in, I'm like, bro, why do you waste time talking like this? Get to the fucking point. Like, I think I could be too concise because I got a lot to say, and like, I only spoke for five minutes. I got straight to the point, eh? <laughs> I don't waste no time because I've always hated being punished for that. My English, I used to get punished in that for English in English class, and one day I had enough. I'm like, yo. How are you going to punish me for answering the question? What year is Nye Hemings born? Nye Hemings was born in 1993. Two out of five marks. Nigga, what? This <laughs> is what they want. Nye Hemings was born in 1993, 2000. Oh, that's wild. 1993, February 24th to his parents, su- such and such. And when he was born, the first thing that he did was do a back. Like, I, 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 how, why am I being penalized? For not being stupid, that had nothing to do with the question. That's what year he was born. I got to tell you the hospital, my parents, the first word I said when I was one to get five marks. Suck my dick. Fucking hate school for that shit. Suck my dick. Hell no. That shit funny as hell. 
They used to piss me off. I used to, I used to get questions like, um, what is two plus two equal? And I, I had an entire paragraph instead of just being fucking four. <laughs> <laughs> And you're traumatized for real. No, I am. Yeah, that's just, that's just, like, I really like. I remember one day I really complained about that. I'm like, dog, how are you asking for this question and give me t- give me three out of five marks like I didn't answer it? I'm like, what more could I do to get the five marks? You asked this question, I answered it specifically. Give me the full mark. I literally, Fuck. I made a big stink in class, and after after that, he stopped being stupid. And I and I, I did it in college. And I I did it in the eleventh grade. I did it in the uh, twelfth grade. I did. It, I started doing that. I'm like, yo. Do you, if you want me to explain something in great detail, ask the question in such a manner. Don't be like, hmm, what color was such and such a shirt on page 12? It was black. The shirt was black. And give me one out of five marks. I'm going to roundhouse kick you in the neck. Don't do it. Mm-mm. So, yeah. Six minutes to start. Shout out to King of Lightning. <laughs> Does he be doing that? Hated that shit. Also hated it when they gave us bad marks for not writing a lot. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. St- you just want a bunch of nothing in there. Like I'm not doing that. I I do I I'm doing what needs to be done. I'm efficient. All right. I could do I could oh, yeah, I you, could do I could do it with, with with the least amount of shots. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I used to, yeah. I used to go to school. Can't relate. Me and Simi used to run around town and beat niggas up. Oh, that's we what y'all to, doing. We, we used to go around Chinatown and rob rob folks. Well, um, what the what, what was that video? What you, what were y'all doing? Robbing niggas. <laughs> this apple ain't so big. I thought that video was so funny. Back when the internet was funny. Um, not that, you know what's not unfunny, but it's just like it's not as funny because you can't be mean. Everyone's so fucking sensitive, so it sucks. Because I won't lie to you, I didn't. I haven't watched them in a while. Like I like I I burnt out quickly, but I loved. I I really did love those like Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Obama, Ben Shapiro, like debate what's the best yeah. Zelda game AI videos. Yeah. Not that I like bro. AI. I don't like AI, but those were actually making me laugh, bro. I watched bro, so wow. many. I watched, bro, like, I at was, least 300. <laughs> I was just watching them the other day. It said, you fucking cry. I was like, bro, this thing got me fucking laughing. Just talking about, like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and what decks or some shit like that. So it was like, you fucking asshole. He was like, cause, uh, they, they kept calling Trump and it was like, they, they, bro, Trump can't get on Biden's head about it. Call a nigga sleepy. He can't call him some type of nigga. Sleepy Joe. Yeah, Sleepy Joe. Yeah, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe that's, is what he called him when he was campaigning. So, yeah. Yeah, that shit, bro. And that shit sound like it was like Obama had kept trying to play like, you know, all right, y'all, let's go. We've been stuck in this shit too long. He's like, I think, oh, no, yeah, I watched it's funny because Obama to tends to be the like the, the reasonable one when Joe Biden and, ben, and Trump are arguing. They'll be like, yeah. I think that this is a good game and the body is the concept of freedom. And freedom is a good thing. Freedom is American. Like he's like, like, and like, oh, shut up, Obama. You know, Kingdom Hearts three is some dick. I'm like, bro. Uh, I see them talk about the anime list, and I think Joe Joe was like talking about he was like, and then fucking Trump came and I was like, oh fucking Joe, no wonder you fucking sleep. Did you sleep through the fucking anime you watched? This shit is fucking <laughs> boring. And he was talking about he was like, is it is like, well, I never want to got a uh, hike. He's like, oh for fuck's sake. He's like. I didn't know that the fucking volume I'm walking. He was, uh, he was like, no, what the, for fuck's sake? That shit's for babies, Joe. For babies. <laughs> that shit had me crying. Bro. I was like, bro, this shit is funny for no fucking reason. And it sounds just like these things. Like, you can literally, no, like. It, it, it actually gave, it actually, I actually find it therapeutic in a weird way where I'm like, I wish they were arguing about dumbass shit like this. Like, oh. I feel like the world would be a better place if they were, it wasn't like real policy and like real shit happening. It's more like, like literally, like Xenoblade one versus two. Like I wish they were arguing about shit like that, man. But yeah, no, I got, I got. No, nah, this one was fun. This one was hilarious. I, I seen Joe Rogan talking to Frieza. That shit heavy. I saw that one. Huh? I saw that one. I saw that one. I saw that one. <laughs> the, the, I think the AI for some of them don't get it right. Like I think the Joe Rogan voice is fine, but they don't have his cadence. And I, I think that's the biggest problem with Ben Shapiro because Ben Shapiro speaks really fast. For me, the AI for him is so bad because they can't catch his cadence. Because he'd be like, "Well, you know, like three percent of all black people in America, right? Well, I actually have high high income, come, so therefore, like, so therefore, um, if you actually look at the consensus here in this poll, uh, like, and like when I hear him, like, it's not like it's like you kind of got the voice, but you don't have his speech pattern, his cadence, right? So it's kind of off. Same thing with Joe Biden because Sleepy Joe now is like retarded, right? He can't he can't speak. He'd be like, "Come on, man, come on, Jack," and he stick he's shaking the air and he's. You don't know where he is, right? So when I hear 
Joe Biden speak in a fluent, complete sentence, I know it's AI generated because he doesn't speak like that anymore, obviously. When he back in the day, he could speak normally. But at this point, that nigga is a walking corpse. So, I mean, the mainstream media even said, all we need is your corporeal form. I said, that's crazy to even say. By the way, what the fuck is going on in your goddamn city, bro? Cop city. What the fuck are they doing? You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? No, he doesn't. All right. Never mind. <laughs> East. Where does the guy go? We lost him. He's gone. But yeah, everything's mid. Except for some things. Some things aren't mid, but a lot of things are mid. You from ATL as well? Okay, what's going on with that Cop City stuff? Like, I have family down there, so I'm worried about them. With all the fire bombing and Molotov cocktails and shit going from, um, whatever. Yeah, he is, but I think he lagged out or his phone died or something. But yeah, East is from, um, he's from Atlanta. It's not Atlanta. He's from Atlanta. So, don't know what's going on. But I'm, I'm tired of being punished for being a sane regular law-abiding citizen in this world. Why do I get punished for this? I'm sick and tired of it. That's all I'm saying. Are you back? I'm back. I got a call. Wrapped up. Oh, you got a call. Okay. No, yeah. I was just I was just saying that um, what's going on with your city with this cop city shit and them firebombing all these police facilities and like why are they why are these violent extremists going crazy in your city right now, bro? Tell your tell the cops to put them down. Stop this. People don't feel safe. Oh, my city? Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, none of this surprises me. There's not a single thing they can do in Atlanta that would surprise me at this point. They could, right. they could set off a, a, a mini nuke downtown, and I wouldn't even be surprised. That would be crazy, because, like, that's radiation. I, 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 that's I, that's I, not good. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, I mean, that one, I want to say I wouldn't be phased, but I wouldn't be like, well, it's Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah. They want to turn the forest thing into a car training facility. Not gonna lie, on media happened two, three weeks ago. I I know it's been happening for a while. Like for a while, there's been autonomous zone in Atlanta, and I remember there was one person who wasn't even a cop that just randomly threw a Molotov in his car and he had to get out and stuff like that too. Normal protests with normal damages. I mean, I have family down there that's telling me they want to get out. They want to get out of Atlanta, so I think it's actually pretty dangerous. I don't. I don't. I don't think. You should, I don't think. I don't think you should downplay how. How violent these extremists are, but again, I'm not there. I don't know for sure for a fact. I don't trust the media, anyways, so I don't trust what I'm reading half the time. But he said normal. It's not as well. I want to. Say, it's not as frequent as they say it is. Yeah, yeah, but, I can believe that. Yeah, it's just, like every day they got to have a shootout in the forest. That I know is not happening every day. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah that's happening. And the media does over over uh, sensationalize everything and make it a bigger bigger deal than it is because all they do is fucking fear monger. I get that. I'm not. That's not lost on me. They love doing yeah, that. that. Yeah, yeah, that's just. But it's not like every day, every week and second. There's something like once a week, twice a week. That sounds about reasonable. All right, that's I'm just like right. Oh, just, oh, just but, a little worried. Like the 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 one thing, the thing I'm worried about the most in America right now is East Palestine. Like I hope that they're good, they're good over there because I really think what happened there was fucked up. And I'm just, and I'm just saying, right. You know me. I don't want to play sides for this political shit. I think I think I think this tribal I'm left, I'm right shit is from loser ass shit. I fucking hate it. You know me. I'm independent. All I'm saying is one president or ex president went to East Palestine and one went to Ukraine. And leave it at that. <laughs> Do with that information as you will. That's all I'm saying. Is Easto in the Discord? In the Twitch chat? Uh I don't know if he's in the I don't know if he's in the Twitch chat, but he's he's in the, he's in the, he's in the Discord, yes. Who oh, actually? Hershey. Hershey. You, you have you have an, you have a fellow Atlantean in the chat. Well my girl wasn't there too though, so you know, she's from Atlanta as well. So yeah. But she's well she she she's she from New York, but she lives in Atlanta. She, she, but yeah. Just hope I just hope things get better sooner rather than later. That's all I that's all I kinda care about right now. But I have half a mind to take everything that I own, go by the river and just live live off the land. <laughs> In, in 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 blissful isolation and solitude with no humans around me in nature. All I, all I need to do is make sure I have some good Wi Fi. That's all I need. As long as I have some good Wi Fi, I'll be I'll be I. You know. So. Hello, Atlanteans. What are your opinions on Trey Young? 
Uh, I'm taller than him. I can tell you that much. No comment. I think he's 5'10", 5'11". Uh, Dre Young is a mid-star. Uh, sitting under the waterfall type beat. Exactly. Get some chickens. Get a couple of cattle. Plant. You know me, I'm a, I'm a plant dad. I'm a plant guy. Plant some some, some crops. Get on, my, get, on, get, on my, get on my Kent Kent family farm gimmick. Ma, pa, Kent. <laughs> yup, in my tractor. <laughs> he's good when he's in top 10. Yeah, he's, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I haven't watched Trey Young play since, the, since he did the shimmy in the tournament when he went like the Eastern Conference Finals or whatever. I don't really watch. I don't watch the lineup play, bro. I watch the Hawks. So, that's on y'all. It's not a lineup. That's not a lineup. <laughs> who said that again? Hmm? I, don't know, I don't remember who said that. I saw that, I saw it in the A's Rain video, but I'm sure he was quoting something. He's he's pretty it popular. Was, it was it was this girl that blew up off like that song she had made. Mm. It was it was it was just a song that some girl had made. Yeah. And she was just talking about like you know what parts are not not Atlanta, but she the way she said it, it was funny though. But of course, because, you know, because they're like they're like literally Atlanta, but she's not acknowledging it. She's like, but that's not Atlanta. It's like yeah, it's Georgia, like, she, but Georgia is not Atlanta. <laughs> that's what he was doing yeah, with the uh... yeah, yeah. Because it was like the song was kind of funny because it's like, damn, bitch, ain't nowhere Atlanta could if you talking to you. <laughs> oh, in not Atlanta, in not Atlanta. I was like, that shit oh. funny. Hawks are kind of poverty for now. Atlanta United is where it's at. Any new anime I'm watching tonight? No. Nah. Not watching nothing, bro. Listen, they talking about the wrong Negro. Talking to the wrong Negro about sport. Yeah, well, probably season four, season seven. I did. I do think. I do. I do think. I actually, you actually reminded me to check the another another site that I think I found. I think I found it on. I did. I did find. I did find some raw episodes raw in good quality, but I don't have subtitles yet. But. Usually I'd be on this before that too, but let me let me. I think tonight I'm just gonna find them. You have to watch them in like not the greatest. I want to watch it now, but that's the thing I want to see the most. But that's, but that's probably a good um, that's a good bet. On Wednesday when I my friend's house, my real at my real house east, you know my real house with all the monitors. You know what I'm saying? We are, yeah. we are gonna watch the second season of Vox Machina because we didn't watch the first one. I don't. I'm not calling Vox Machina the greatest show ever. Me and him just like got high and watched it and had fun. Cracking jokes, watching it. It was very, very simple watch. You know the critical role guys and stuff. So, so yeah. By the way, are you not the owner of your own Discord? I think I, I am. <laughs> you know how confident I was too. Like I'm pretty sure I am. But, well, yeah. Why though? I, th- yeah, I think so. I should be. Like I didn't make anything. Like I'm like obviously I created it and then like. Badger and Kako did everything, but they might have like similar permissions. I think I still have the most permissions. Like I think I still think end of the day, like I have the ultimate vetoing whatever power. But yeah, because I don't see the crown thing. Oh, then maybe not. Is this supposed? Is this supposed to be a crown thing? Oh, I guess not. Then when did I make this? February thirteenth, two thousand sixteen. Oh, no, I was a member since I made this in 20, 20, 2018. Damn, September 15th. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I, don't, I didn't even notice that that was a thing. Is that a, is that a thing? Let me let me check other discords. I don't see it by Jace. I just see him, the godfather at the top. I don't see a crown by him. Let's, let's check another one. Let's check another one. Let's check, let's check uh, Virgos. I don't see a crown by Virgo either. I don't know. Uh, I couldn't tell you, but I'm pretty sure I have like the ultimate power and say. I mean, I mean, what talk about? Nigh the false king. We release the heart. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, 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 some new irregular finna come in and bounce season. I'm the pirate king of the tower. That's my role still. I think I'm gonna change it. So, some, some are. <laughs> Cause Pirate King, I don't want to be Pirate King. I'm good. I'm off that. Yes. I want to be Prince of Curry, I'm a priest of Curry, the priest of Curry, Curry Gums priest. I, 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 my, 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 my attributes are triple Curry Curry. 
Bavati Curry Gum. Gustang Fuming. <laughs> um, Hati Curry Gum. You guys don't even know what that does. Y'all don't even know, bro. Y'all don't even know what that spell does. What yo? What y'all know about this? Y'all don't even know how I be moving, dog. I don't even know about that. Oh, my friend told me that um the last episode of The Last of Us was pretty good. He said it followed the story apparently, like the the chapter in the little cabin part. But I I can't watch that show though because I don't care because I played the game already, and it looks it doesn't look good to me, and I don't like new shows. So whoever I mean, who's I- uh, the girl who plays um Ellie looks like I can't explain this. She's got like she got like a lot of chin. Like why does she look like that? Her face is like pure chin. <laughs> no comment because I had said the same thing. My brother had told me something. I don't. I don't care. I, it, it doesn't change everything. It's like a medical thing. She has a lot of chin. That's the fact. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't change anything for me. But yeah, is that is that Gordon Ramsay's daughter? I'm looking at it now. I think her name is Bella Ramsey. Is that is that is that um? It's, it's Bella Ramsey. It's Bella Ramsey. Yeah, is that Gordon Ramsay's daughter? Or just, or just, just have the same last name. I'm trying to figure it out now. They usually Gordon tell Ramsay's you, a like, chef guy who's like, "This chicken is so uncooked, I can hear it clucking." <laughs> I said, "Hey, yo, what the fuck?" Hadi Curry Gum is a mental transcendental. He's, 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 you're on the right track. <laughs> you're on the right track. It, 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 it's to induce it's, it's to induce uh fandom tears the, the the tears of the fan base by psychologically torturing them with prospects of happiness and then hitting you with a wave of despair. <laughs> That's one of the spells. Did you did you find out? Um, I, I just said that Gordon Ramsay's daughter. No, I don't think that's his daughter. Okay. Oh, they just got the same last name. Cause I, cause I, 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 cause I remember, like, like I, like I usually say that, and I never mean it seriously. But I remember, like, I was right on two occasions. So now I'm like, maybe I should, maybe I, like, I think with, um, well, um, fuck, Steve Harvey, and um, Laura Laurie. Harvey. I'm like, was, I'm like, is that Steve Harvey's daughter? I said it jokingly, but like, like I think it's a stepdaughter. I'm like, oh, oh shit, I didn't, I was right. So, so yeah. Bella Ramsey is Gordon Ramsey's daughter. I don't know. I have no idea. No, I'm literally the worst person to ask. But he said no. He looked. He looked up and he said no. So I don't know celebrities, bro. I'm not good at this. I can't explain it. But my whole life, a lot of people around me, and I've always found for some reason, specifically Americans, maybe because it's Hollywood, it's in California are obsessed with famous people and I've never been, I don't care about them. Their lives mean nothing to me for the most part. Like, I don't follow them. I'm not into gossip or whatever. Like, I don't care. I can't explain it. It's like, I'm so disconnected from it that sometimes I hate when I see it. Like, like the the, the recent one that I'm seeing is, I guess, Chris Rock did a stand-up where he kind of was like being, like, talking about the state of the world and he went on, went in on, like, um, I am said Chris Smith. What the fuck? Will Smith. What the fuck is wrong with me? Will Smith. And, um, yeah, the people are like, oh, they're talking about the slap again. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. These things, pieces on the goddamn slap, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I like that shit bothers me. Oh, I should, that's actually not what I was thinking of. I was, apparently, so, so, so maybe you know this. I feel like East knows this. You're, 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 you're my, you're young and fresh and popping and you know what's going on. So you better know this. Something uh, about Biden? Michael B. Jordan being corny. Oh, Something, okay, yeah, I know about that. I know about that that I kept seeing discourse for. I even saw Jay tweet about it. Like, and I'm like, bro. So basically, basically, this is what happened, right? Oh, let me oh, make sure my shit don't cut me off. Can you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. Yes. Okay, sorry, y'all. I was on Wi-Fi and shit. Basically, this is exactly what happened. He was on the interview, right? And this mm-hmm. girl was on the carpet because you know he got his new movie Creed Three coming out. Actually, girl, it's actually out. I I I thought it was coming out too. It's out already. I have to go see it. I like that. I like Korea, but I'll 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 put the shroud on though. But go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So it was um. So the movie was you know red carpet premiere. The lady talks about, hey, you know we used to go to you know we we I knew you back in the day. You know we used to go to school together. He had pointed out like, yeah, I know, I remember you. 
I used to like, you know, clown on me, call me corny and shit like that. And she was like, you know, the jokes are good. He's like, no, nah, yeah, <laughs> you know, but you know, look, at, he kind of flexed subtly, but respectfully. Like, so he, he didn't flex like a dickhead, but niggas was bugging. Like people was calling him corny for like bringing up how they used to, they, how they used to call him corny and like joke on his head back in the day. But it was like, but that's why people was calling him him corny because like they used to call he called you know he brought up the fact like y'all used to roast me back in the day and called me corny and shit like that. But like wait, it was like, wait, but didn't she bring it up, not him, or did he bring it up? Yeah, she brought it up. She brought it up first. So then at that point, I mean, I don't know, I don't care, but all right. She was like, you know, we used to go, you know, we used to go wrestle. He's like, yeah, you know, I remember blah blah blah, this fool and this another. I, just, I honestly would not have spoken to her if that was me. And I recognized her, I would just walk past her. That's just, that's just yeah, but, 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 but the thing is, he was highly respected. He wasn't even a dickhead the entire time. Like, me personally, I've been an asshole. Like, you know, <laughs> he made a post about it probably later. Like, you know, I used to clown on you back then, but no, look at us, look at me now type beat, blah, blah. You, you, you walk was, by here to slap the fucking mic out of her hand and keep walking? <laughs> oh, God, God, I'd be a petty ass baby. Like, like, move, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, yeah, no, you can't. Do, you can't do that because he's on. He's on tour for Curry Three. You gotta be on his best behavior, probably. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, this is why I can't be. Like, this is why I can't be a corporate person and like part of these things. Like I need to be able to do what I want, and I'll I'll eat the consequences of my own actions myself. I'm, I'll I'll live with that because I want to walk past it and slap the mic on her hand and call her a bitch and keep walking. I'm not a good person, though. Remember that. Don't don't hold me to the standards of good people. I'm not a good person. I'm evil. I'm a bad man. I do evil things every day. So, yeah. He says, snake, toad, raccoon, pig, dog. So, yeah. Okay, so that was that. Yeah, that's how that, that was, like, annoying. I'm like, bro, what is going on? What's this corny to be? And we're like, oh, corn balls. This is corny to be, to be successful and bring up the past, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, I don't know. Nigga, like, she brought it up. Plus, nigga, if I want to be, if I want to hold something against you niggas from the, which I did, like, okay, you didn't fuck me then. Fuck it. Look at me now. This is my time to shine. Fuck wrong with you. Okay. Hey, I want to flex. I want to flex. Fuck. Look at me now. But yeah, that kind of stuff, like, I always be like, oh my God, this is so annoying. Because everybody got, everyone got deep think pieces. Like, I never forget the slap. Everyone was just talking about, oh, but like, I'm like, how are you going to, like, you are a random user on Twitter trying to psychoanalyze somebody you've never met. Can you please? I want you to get up, turn towards the door that you're at, enter what we call the outside, not indoors, outdoors. I want you to look up at the orb in the sky that's shining, that gives us life and heat. It's called the sun. Absorb some vitamin D. Then I want you to take a, a Sawamura inhale of the fresh air outside. I want you to go to that little green stuff that you see on the ground. We call it grass and just take a nice touch of it. Just touch it up a little bit and go outside and live real life. You have the fucking internet. Jesus Christ. You niggas are on. You need to have a perpetual online every day, all day, 24 hour syndrome. Go get a life. God, I can't stand niggas who are perpetually online all the time. Go outside, man. Fuck. No, don't do it in Canada right now. It's cold. It's winter. But like when it's nice outside, go outside. <laughs> uh, it's not nice. It's 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 cold. And I'm tired of shoveling. But but yeah. Anyways, but, I think that's everything I, I have to complain about. I don't think I have anything else. I remember. Anything else come out that I that I like a rip a new asshole or are we done? Ant Man's gonna be Ant Man I know I already know is mid. I I don't yeah. I'm I'm not gonna watch that. I don't care. Yeah, it's my time to go. I gotta keep getting these calls. But all right, see y'all later, man. All right, y'all be safe. We'll be back tomorrow with Kubera and shit. You're.